Okay, and we're right back where we left off. So, um, so sometimes you're just going to want to model something in place. And I haven't really shown you guys that yet because I didn't want you guys to get bogged down with doing interiors of the actual project yet. So for this, I'm gonna, just going to hide in view and hide the uh, roof so that we don't have to work with it. And I'm going to work on putting in a kitchen in here. So we'll do like a corner L-shaped kitchen. Um, and so usually the easiest way to kind of show how this works is to... Um, well model it in place um, so you can click on component right here from the architecture menu and then do model in place and what we're going to do uh, first we'll select a family that it's going to go with so we're going to do casework because I want to do a kitchen counter here okay so I'll hit OK there and then we'll call this kitchen counter this is kind of like creating a new element in uh, SketchUp now, once we've done that, we need to choose a work plane. And I think by default, um, if you do show, you can see that there's kind of this big blue area right here. Um, that's highlighting kind of where this is at physically and uh, where, or where the work plane is currently. And so what we actually want to do, or what I want to do at least for this, is um, I want to put it, um, so I'm going to choose set work plane. Um, and I'm going to do, pick a plane, hit OK, and then I'm going to try and find, I'm going to use this face right here. It's not ideal because of what I want to do. Um, so maybe we'll actually just use the floor here um, and we'll build this up. Okay, yeah, we'll do this. That way I can actually kind of do a little bit more modeling here and show you guys what's going on. So, um, do, 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 where are we at? Oh, double clicked on it. Okay. So we have chosen our work plane. Um, so now we need to start creating extrusions. And so our work plane again is on that, on the floor of the kind of open level right here. So first thing I'm going to do is an extrusion. And so using the line tool, I'll go from probably the corner right here and then we'll go out, I'm just going to say 8 foot 2. And then this, um, and so this is going to be, um, we'll do sort of if you could envision the profile of a kitchen counter. You're going to toe kick, and then it's going to step out a little bit on one side. Cabinets, step out a little tiny bit more at the very top for your counter. And then some sort of edge face and go in and become the surface. So what I'm going to do is just that kind of toe kick, kick area right now. And we'll do this out to 1 foot 8. And then I should have done numbers on this better. Seven foot six. <laughs> no, it's... <sighs> Math is not my thing today. Okay, six foot six. Okay. And then we'll go back the other way. Uh, we'll do six foot five right there, sure. And then we'll take this one in. And I'm just letting some of the assist tools kind of help me with... Um, making sure I'm keeping nice, neat, right angles here. So let me select one of these so I can change my rotation. All right, a little bit better. OK, so once I've got that set, I'm going to hit Escape. So I still have, again, that profile that we would have worked on if we were working on uh, something else. So I'm going to set the extrusion start at 0, and then I'm going to set the extrusion end to 4 inches, because again, we're just going to go up a little bit. And I can apply that. So now we kind of have the base that we're going to use for this kitchen counter. All right. So once that's done, I'm going to hit escape, clear out of that, and I'm going to start a new extrusion. All right. And then same idea. I'm going to start here. Um, and I'm going to kind of be drawing on top of what I was drawing on. So I'm going to have to watch out a little bit for what I'm doing. So this should come to six foot two right there. This should line up, and it's not going to give me an assist, so I'll draw it back around the other way. Um, and this is kind of one of the frustrating parts about this, is it is making me draw through the other object, um, which can kind of get a little confusing. So I am drawing on that work plane still, um, and it's going to be bumping up. So um, we'll set the extrusion to start to 4 inches, and then... Um, two foot eight and we'll 
apply that and check mark. Okay, so that then would be the counters for our kitchen. Now, I've been working in one direction um, for this extrusion, um, but the other thing you can do is a sweep. And so, and I'm super bad at sweep, so let's see if I get this right on the first try. Um, so now I'm going to change the work plane now that I've got it set for those other ones. So I'm going to do set, pick a line, or sorry, no, wait, set, pick a plane, hit OK, and then I want to choose this face right here. Now this just determines where I'm working from when I start, right? So I'm going to try and get in a position over here where I can kind of see what I'm doing. We'll go there, do one and a half inch thick counters. One and a half overlay, and then bring that back in, and then I actually want to uh, which one was I just working on? Modify sweep, sketch path. So the path that we're going to follow, kind of like an a extrusion in SketchUp, or using the Follow Me tool. Um, is we'll set up a path here. So that should be our path. And then um, what are you mad at me about? All right, I did it wrong again. One sec. Okay, yeah, I completely missed a step. Okay, so we are back here. So I just kind of jump back to creating a sweep again. So from the start, creating a sweep. Um, first, you have to create the path and then do the profile. I got it backwards in my head. So we're going to do pick path, and it's usually easier to just choose locations like that. Um, and then this green box is going to show you where the profile is going to lay when you select it. So once you've, I hit the green checkbox there to um, to signify that I was done creating my path. I now have this line going around the back there, which is the one I was going to use um, for my path. And then it's going to give me profile, select profile, and I want to do edit profile. And then you can see right here, it's just generated a, a work plane for me. So I don't have to do that step I did. All right, so then this I'm going to bring out again, just go a little bit past escape and um, again we'll go a little bit up and because it's fixed on that work plane it's letting me kind of draw on that surface or in that 3d surface right there so then I can come in create this profile right there and so now I have this kind of rectangular shape with a rounded edge and it's gonna run along the path that's along the back here and hey uh, check mark to finish applying the profile and then another check mark and it's going to apply that to that area right there Yikes. okay so now we have our kitchen cabinets now I am no expert on figuring out the size and dimensions of cabinets so um, and especially with Revit it can kind of be frustrating trying to measure some of these um, especially since for some reason it doesn't give you the measuring tool all the time so, um, let's see if I wanted to measure this one, because I don't remember. Yeah, it's super annoying like this. Okay, so we can just draw some more faces in here then. So, um, let's go to create another extrusion. And again, we'll set our work plane by picking a plane. And I'm gonna choose the front of this and Oh, because it goes all the way through here. Okay. All right, so I guess I can just measure this out and see how wide it is, and we can go from there. So six foot two. Um, so we want to have four doors in here, six times 12 plus two. So we have 74 inches. We want one inch, one inch, and one inch. So minus three gives us 71 divided by four. Each door is 17.5 inches. Okay, so um, we'll do one door. And I'm, I 
again, I'm going to keep these like super basic. So I'm just going to go up. And actually, let's do an offset for this because that actually is going to help. Well, yeah, we'll do a one inch offset. Nope, not one foot. One inch. Okay. So, and if we hit spacebar, we can flip it around just like with doors and windows and things. Um, and we said we were doing 17.75. It's one foot five and three. Okay, one foot five, three quarters. Okay, so there's one and um, let's get rid of the offset now because we're looking at the correct dimensions there. Bring it back in. Mm. Yes, one foot. I'm oh, sorry, uh, one inch. Okay, one inch. Start drawing. Okay, so we'll move this up just a tiny bit this up just a tiny bit. So there we have our door. Um, hit escape a couple times and get back to this menu here. So this case the extrusion is going to start at mm, right zero um, and then oh, zero and then the extrusion end is going to be just three quarters of an inch um, for the thickness of this cabinet door. Okay. So then the next thing I want to do is I actually want to make this a little bit of a fancier door. All right. So we're going to go in, um, we'll do a two inch offset this time. And I'm just going to, oh, no, nope, not two foot. Boy, I'm bad at this one. Okay, two inch. And I'm going to leave that gap right there. Bring that across. And then I'll just pick a spot kind of like right there. We can move this down. Okay, so that's my profile, and then once I complete that, you can see that that's kind of the shape that we're going to be working with for this. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is make these actually fancy. So again, we'll go back to the sweeps, and um, so we'll pick our path. And in this case, the path is going to be I'm going to use the just because it's easier to select the outside edges of this cutout area right here. Okay, and then actually, let me pick those in a different order because it's going to be a pain drawing. I don't want to draw it on the top of that curve just in case it gets a little weird. So I'm going to select that one first and that will determine where we do it from. Okay, and then uh, maybe we have some sort of uh, profile like maybe it starts just a little bit inset. Um, let's turn this to super fine. Oh no, that's right. Oh, rabbit. Okay, and then we'll go up to here. Sometimes this is super frustrating. Um, hold on, I just gotta. I just, okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. So view thin lines, um, that'll actually get you back to a way where you can see these. So, um, and then I actually don't want to do that. I want to have a little gap right there too. Um, and then we'll just draw this. Uh, is that even? Yeah. Okay. I'm not worrying too much about those exact dimensions. Okay. So that'll give us a nice little decorative edge right there. Um, so we'll go ahead and apply that. Um, for the profile, and then apply it again. I uh, can't create sweep. Really? Did I? I might have gone too complex for it. That's fine. Okay. We'll just do. Nope. Let me make sure I actually get it on the right spots here, too. So. That looks right. Okay. 
Well then, we will go with something a little more boring. Um, so we already have our path. This is our profile. Edit profile. Uh, why won't you work? Okay, so it might not like my curve up at the top. Um, I don't think I've actually tried doing one with that curve in it. So let's cancel this one and we'll go back and we'll do the outside instead. So, um, let's see, create, we'll do another sweep. Um, we will pick our path and again we'll do the outside, 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 and outside. Okay, there's our path, edit profile, and then, oh. Okay, this is going to be annoying to try and do. Okay. I could probably hide the walls, but I don't want to go back and deal with it. Okay. So a little bit of a decorative edge here on... Just a little bit of a... Yeah, a little fillet edge there, or angled edge there. Um, so we'll go ahead and apply that. Lines must be in a continue... Oh, did I not put this here? Jeez. Okay. Like that. Okay, so there's our profile, and then there's our little decorative edge around the cabinets. It must not like me trying to do that. There are other ways, um, I guess, what I could do. Um, one way to fill in the center of that would be to um, do a blend. So I would, um, and blends are, I'm just going to have to show you blend anyway, so this is kind of fine. Um, let me change this to wireframe so I can see what's going on behind here because this is going to be a pain to get to. So we have a top with these, or we have a top and a bottom, all right? Um, right now we're doing the bottom, so I'm going to click on that line, that line, that line, and that line. And so this is going to be our top, and then... Um, I want to do this the other way around. Sorry, I want to get... Um, oh, am I stuck just doing these? Okay. So then edit top. Um, and then uh, we'll do um, an offset of one inch. We do there we go okay so um, so what we have is sort of uh, or sorry the base so there's the base which is going to be around here and then there's the top which is going to be here and you kind of see it it gives you a little hint in the tooltip here um, so um, and so what it does is it starts at one end goes to the other and it's going to transition as it goes between the two so on that one on the left you can see it kind of has the um, one border and then another it's going to transition inwards whereas that more complex one on the right it goes from a completely different octagon shape in um, so in this case what we're doing is we're just going from the border of one of these um, into an offset line there so then um, we're going to do three quarters of an inch here um, and then we'll see if I got the directions right too because nope got it backwards uh, which is easy enough to deal with. Um, so we'll just go back into... Um, okay, so if we do three quarters... Oops. So we do zero there, and then three quarters of an inch here. And that should flip that. Nope. Oh, did it? I think we got it. I th meh. Nope. Okay. I've got to go the other way around. That sucks. Okay. Um, so I need to go back in and actually cut this out. I 
on it. That's fine. Paste in here. No. So I just need to switch these around. So we are now editing. Continue. Add top. Continue. Okay, fine. Um, so this one actually needs to be the one that uses these lines. And then edit top. I should have double checked the base. Because th it should be going off the work plane. And I get it confused sometimes. Okay, so we have that. Three quarters inch offset. Apply it. I don't know what's going on here. It might just be because it's all the same color. What happens if I just put it out here? Nope. Oh, it's not going to let me do this. Okay, I see what it's doing. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it with that. Oh, I'm sure there's probably a better way to fill in those cabinets. That's what I get for kind of going off script. All right, so... Um, do not save. Uh, no, stop it. Um, all right. So unfortunately, I'm probably not going to be able to get that done. So what I do have here, though, is I have at least this part of the doors. Okay, so I can copy and paste these. Um, if I was feeling fancy, uh, what I would do is I would create an array. And I would go from probably this corner right here to that corner right there. And this one's got to come over just a tiny bit. Um, I'll redraw it. Come on, there we go. Okay, let's group them while we're at it. Uh, are we still on that? Okay. So we'll go from there to, where is it, to get the angle right, so, eh, that's close enough. Um, okay, so we'll have two, finish, okay, now we got two, ungroup, and then um, we'll copy these again. So I'll copy, paste, and sometimes this gets weird when you copy paste things. I think I just copied it outside of the house, um, which is a trick you can exploit um, because it gets kind of weird about stuff. So we'll go ahead and move this. Oops. Nope, get yeah, both of them. Cancel. Sometimes you have to get kind of in weird positions to modify these. Um, so, ah, really? Gosh. Um, let's see. Oh, missed that. Okay. Cut it, paste it. Yeah, it's going to be out there. Bleh. Okay. So usually it's a little bit easier than this, but I'm trying to get a little bit fancier for the purposes of this demo. Um, and so sometimes you just kind of have to get into weird camera views um, in order to place things. Okay. And then let's go to left. And, okay. I think that's close. Close enough for what I'm looking for. Okay. So sometimes you just kind of have to get into one of these um, other fixed exterior views and drop it in a wireframe um, to get it into position. So 
there's our four cabinets uh, or cabinet doors. So I'll finish the model. Um, and again, you can kind of see what's going on there. So that's kind of the simpler process of simpler process of modeling something in place in Revit. So it's kind of a pain in the butt to do, um, but you can end up with fairly decent things. You just kind of have to approach modeling it in a different method than you would sketch up. Okay. Um, so that's this demo and then I'll have your guys' milestone up coming up soon. All right. Um, see you guys in class.